Hello folks, I'm at Disneyland Paris, specifically in the Disney Village, and behind me is where the Lego store is supposed to be, used to be, will be again soon. As you can see, a lot of the Disney Village is currently under construction. It's being redone, this whole row of shops that if you've been to Disneyland Paris before, you know, included the Lego store, but also the, like the art, arty museum place, the Disney fashion shop and some other bits and bobs that I don't remember it used to be along there as well. But the Lego store was about here, I think. It is going to be back there again when it's done. They are working on a new one, um, but it's obviously not there now. But of course, Disneyland Paris could not be without a Lego store. So they've got a temporary one, one around the corner. And we're going to go and see what's going on in there. I suspect it's going to look like a temporary store. And there it is, down there in between the big Disney store and the sports bar. Right, right, right there, right, right there. We're going to go and have a look. There you go, look, straight away, we've got loads of uh, Lego minifigs on the wall. I don't know if that's new because they've moved the Lego store down here, or if that's something that's always been there and I've just never noticed before. I've never really ventured down this end of the Disney Village because I think this used to be a kids' club in here. Um, but you can see they have got a load of, uh, a load of Lego themed stuff around the edging, including my guy, We've got minifig Donald Duck, which I'm very excited about. So this is your full view of the store, as you can see, very much a temporary store. We have no pick-a-brick wall and there's not really any of the display stuff. We've got a Mickey Mouse over here. So we'll come and have a look at the Mickey Mouse. But other than that, there's not anything that particularly makes it stand out as being part of Disneyland. There's gonna be lots of cool stuff at the new store when that opens up. So this is 58,000 bricks worth of Mickey Mouse. And then we've got the uh, the window display stuff. So all of the new sets, we've got the uh, we've got the Legend of Zelda Deku tree, which Anna doesn't want. She says she doesn't like the look of it. She says it looks weird. She loves trees and she loves Zelda, but doesn't want that set, which saves me 300 euros. She has got that. She hasn't built it yet. And of course, Baradol, I didn't realize Baradol was open back like that. I assumed for the price and the size of it, it was like a fully enclosed thing, like the big Marvel stuff is. I mean, I'm not a Lord of the Rings guy. I've never seen it from the back, but I'd be a lot less likely to buy it with an open back like that. So I'm not expecting there to be any, uh, any exclusive stuff or anything like that in here. What I would like to see if I can stumble across it is something Disney themed that I can pick up while I'm here, just so that I've got myself a little bit of a Disney souvenir. When we've been traveling and going to Lego stores earlier in the year, that's what we've done. Got myself a Vespa in Rome. I got a London phone box in Edinburgh because there was a phone box that looked like that outside the hotel we stayed in in Edinburgh. So I do like to have a kind of themed Lego souvenir when we do our traveling, but this is just the current Lego City range, of which I have most of it already. I didn't realize just how much of the current Lego City range I'd already got my sticky little fingers on. They've got a little bit of Ninjago in here as well. Not a load, but a little bit of Ninjago. And then some Speed Champions, which I tend not to buy these from the Lego store. I usually like to pick these up from B&M where we can get them on a little bit of a discount. I mean, if they had like a, a really, really French one, and we could do it as a Paris souvenir rather than a Disneyland souvenir. I would go for a speed champion, but they don't really have anything. And then we've got the uh, the Technic stuff. All very grown up, isn't it? All very fancy. And then, I mean, this would have been an ideal thing to pick up as a Paris souvenir, but Anna already got it earlier in the year. I mean, we could get the Paris architecture set, which I'm not sure I've got. I'm not sure I've seen anywhere else. So that would be a maybe. We've got a few of the other architecture sets as well. And then they do have a bit of a Disney display. So we've got some of the newer Disney sets, the Simba and the Stitch sets, and then the, the little mini castles that they've got at the moment. I think we've got all of these already as well. I've certainly got those two. And I think Anna's got that one. I don't really like the ones that don't have minifigs with them. And then of course the big Disney castle, which we built on stream. And then because France, the Eiffel Tower, which I can't be taking the Eiffel Tower home with me. Quite apart from anything else, I don't think I can fit that in the car. 
it's over 10,000 pieces. It's enormous. It's over 600 euros. That would be bonkers picking that up. I'd be so interested to find out how many of them they sell in this particular Disney store, uh, uh, Lego store. Because if you're coming all the way to Disneyland and you leave with this, I've got to know the thought process. So coming around to some more of the the Christmassy stuff that's come out recently. We've got all the advent calendars. There's the phone box that I picked up when I was in Edinburgh. I've got the Alpine Lodge and Main Street ready for my winter village. This might be the set we get because obviously it is Disney. We are at Disneyland, it is new. I am doing a winter village. So maybe we get the Nightmare Before Christmas set. That's probably in first place at the moment. Jaws, which we still haven't built. We've got it, we still haven't built it. That's gonna be the next thing we build on stream. The streams will be back soon, once we're back from this trip. Likewise, what I was saying before about the Eiffel Tower, they've got Titanic in here. What an insane thing to have here. I can almost understand the Eiffel Tower because we are sort of in Paris, but that is bonkers. If you're buying that here, you're a maniac. And I need, I need to know your story. Uh, Bumblebee, I still don't have. And then we've got all the Star Wars stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of Star Wars in general at Disneyland Paris. So quite a, quite a big Star Wars and Marvel section, including some of the newer stuff, like the, uh, the Dark Falcon. Have they got that cool little droid set that I like? I don't think they've got it, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but they've got the smaller version of R2-D2. C-3PO, which Anna has built but doesn't want the R2-D2 to go with it. If I was going to choose between the two of them, that looks much more fun. I don't get why she chose that one. It's mad. And let's face it, it's not like she even had to choose. She gets so much Lego, she could have easily got both of them. And then we're into Marvel, so we've got the advent calendar. Spider-Man down the bottom there. The good old Avengers Tower. See, that would be a cool thing to buy here if I didn't already have it. And on that topic, that is a cool thing to buy here as well which is a little bit cheaper than The Nightmare Before Christmas, but probably a little bit more difficult to justify to Anna. And again, the boxes are so big, we can't fit a load of this stuff in the car. And then we do have a little bit of Batman representation here at Disneyland as well. And then we're into quite a sizable Minecraft section. So they've got the new crafting table, which I've built recently and really like. And into Mario, there's your great Deku tree. And of course, all of the Animal Crossing stuff that I have all of, because I love it. I need to make an Animal Crossing island in the new Lego room when I get up to speed with that. And then the Harry Potter section, including the new, uh, the new The Burrow, which Anna has. That's quite a cool set. I feel like I've not seen that in stores recently. Is that still a, that seems really cheap. Is that right for that? Hogsmeade Station and the Hogwarts Express. I'm not really a Harry Potter guy, but I don't think I've seen that anywhere lately. And it does seem like a good price. And then of course the Harry Potter advent calendar, all of the other recent bits and brick heads as well. The big great hall and then the travel moment set is another one you could make an argument for getting because obviously we are traveling i really like that i know lots of people don't but i think that's quite a cool set and then we are into space friends and your disney section again which is actually a surprisingly small disney section um, Brickheads wise, I don't actually have this Brickheads. I guess I could get myself a Mickey Mouse Brickheads. I'd prefer it if it was like not a weird looking Mickey, just a normal Mickey Mouse I'd much prefer. Um, but we've, between me and Anna, we've already got the Inside Out, the Up, the Brickheads, the Wally. Um, I don't know if she's got Moana. Um, we've got the Up House already as well. We've got the castles again that we had over there. And then I think Anna's got all of this, the Encanto house, all of these bits. I forget just how big her Disney Lego collection is now. She's certainly got Snow White, Hocus Pocus, and the Disney, because I think it's this one. I think this is what we're going to be picking up. I just need to make sure Anna doesn't claim it. I want it for my, for my winter village. 
we do have a brickhead section in the middle as well and also some minifigs on key rings. I've actually got my back door key to the new house is on a Donald Duck minifig key ring. Got Winnie the Pooh, which I think Anna's scooter keys are on Winnie the Pooh. Hello. Oh. See, Steamboat Willie would have been good, but it doesn't look like it's... So, mini Steamboat Willie on offer when you spend... 100 euros on Disney and Marvel is that am I reading that correct it's in French if we can buy the Nightmare Before Christmas and get a Steamboat Willie really gift for purchase that'd be outstanding that makes it all worthwhile and then some more of the superhero stuff and then the Star Wars brickheads still hunting for any kind of exclusive gifty stuff doesn't look like we have much in there. They've got the new minifigs in, which is nice. And some of these pretty, pretty flowers. So that one's out of stock, which gives me hope that they might have the Steamboat Willie if they do. That's an amazing find. And then I've got some of the, uh, the adult sets again. I think Anna's got most of the botanical stuff already. She loves all this. She's a big fan. She's even got that Kingfisher already. Interesting. And we do have a little builder minifig section as well. Well, folks, exciting times. So I did get the um, the Nightmare Before Christmas and they did have the Steamboat Willie gift of purchase. So I'm fairly confident that hasn't appeared as like a general Disney thing while we've been away. This was a gift of purchase a while ago, I think, um, that they obviously kept some by here at Disneyland. And it is just on Disney and Marvel purchases over a hundred euros it kind of made my decision for me which set I was gonna get. Got the Disney set, got the really cool gift of purchase with it as well. Very, very happy. Insider points in there too, plus passport stamps. I don't have my passport with me, it's in the hotel. So I'm gonna go back and grab my passport, come back and get my Disneyland Paris Lego passport stamp as well, which we'll make sure we get before we get home. But that is a result. The gift of purchase makes that all worthwhile. I think the actual set itself was slightly more than it would have been if I'd have bought it in the UK. I put a thing on TikTok the other day talking about the price of it and yeah, I think it was slightly more expensive in euros than it is in pounds. But like I say, that gift of purchase makes it all worth it. Very happy with that. So now all that remains for me to do is sneak that gift of purchase back into my hotel room without Anna seeing it because I know full well if she knows it exists, she's going to claim it. So we all have to agree we never saw it. We know nothing about it. Kev's had it for months. Don't remember where he got it. That's the party line. That's what we're sticking to. But I think that wraps up this, I mean, very whistle-stop tour of the Lego store here at Disneyland Paris. Like I say, the main one will be back soon. I imagine we'll be here again next year. We like an annual trip to Disneyland. And I imagine by then, we'll be able to show you the new all singing, all dancing store, which will be just along there because that's where the old one was and I think it's just sliding into where the old one was. But if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for loads more LEGO content. And now, by the time you're seeing this, we're either home or on our way home. So we really are going to be able to get the content coming out more regularly on this channel again. So thank you for bearing with us over the house move and the travel over the last few months. The content starts again here.